Welcome in a side-by-side -side comparison between Notion and Asana. The first thing I'm going to show you are pricing plans, and then I'm going to show you the workspaces, how it feels to add a task in both of these tools, what kind of templates they offer, do they have mobile app, is it really good? And also on the end of the video, you will find my recommendations, so what you should actually do. Now, without further ado, let's start. Both Notion and Asana, when we compare pricing plans, offer free account. You see it right here for individual and basic account in Asana. Then you get premium for $11, or $14.50 build monthly, or business account $25 or $40.50. Now on Notion, you get for team $8 or enterprise. So $8 per member per month. And you can see it right here that you got in premium timeline dashboard that I would definitely go just with a premium. But as you can see, Notion is cheaper comparing to Asana. Now here's the question, got Asana better features comparing to Notion? Let's find out. The one thing Notion has over Asana is dark mode. I really like to work in the evenings and you can just click on appearance and change it to dark. In Asana is not possible. People were asking for years right now on the forum on to have a dark mode, but still Asana didn't implement it. So this is the first thing that Notion got advantage that if you like to work in the evening, Notion got a dark mode. In this part, I'm going to compare workspaces, templates, tasks, and custom fields. In the Notion, you need to go to the top left, go on the three dots here, and join or create a workspace. And now for myself, or with my team, then workspace name can be my company, company size 2-5 people, your starting team can be like marketing, continue. You can also add a logo here. And now it's getting ready. While it's loading, in Asana, it's a little bit similar. I have a company here, I click plus here, and I can use a template, import a spreadsheet or blank a project. So I can blank project, and now project name can be public to company, okay, list, board, calendar, timeline. I'm going to list as default, create a project. So share a share link in Notion, take me to Notion, and I would send it to someone. In Asana, as you can see, voila, really simple. Here we got our Sunway project. Or what you can do is just simply click plus and use a template. And just choose template which you want. In Notion, I got the workspaces here. What you can do is to simply click on templates and choose a template here. Now, I really think that uh, Notion got better templates comparing to Asana, let's close these. Like you can go here while meeting agenda and you can use it. But there are many more templates comp like on Notion comparing to Asana. So Asana is losing the battle comparing to Notion. So I can go to marketing and I can go to content calendar or media list, right? And I can simply use the template. Now, while I've got it, I can simply move it to workspace or have it as a private. And to add a new page, I just click here and while I've got a page and I can choose and implement template directly to my notion, right? In Asana, I can go Asana basic training, use template and template project name. Voila, here we got it. So, yep. So this is how we can add a template in Asana. Okay, now let's see how we can add the tasks and how we can work with anything. In Notion, let's just add a table here as a database. And what you can do is just simply add a task. This is a task. I can simply go here and open and voila. So this is a task. I can add an icon or cover or text or property. Property is this. So you can add, let's say, URL. And when I'm going to open a task, I can easily add a property. Pretty simple. And you can change the property type and how the task works in Notion. In Notion, task works as a new page. So you can actually go slash and write, add a table 
in your task. And this is really amazing. So we can have like inception task in the task in the task in the task, right? And I really love this because you can make really complex things simple. So let's say that I would have a database of or like financing of a project and I would have all the projects here. I can simply open a task and just have all the numbers here. In Asana, what you need to do is to add a task, task name. This is a task. Click on details. And so you see, no assign, you can assign it. In Notion, when I'm going to open it, you see right here. Then, due date, projects, dependencies, description, and you can also add a subtask. Or you can go to top right and add attachments, copy task name, and go full screen also. Or you can delete the task and add a comment. And you see collaborators right here. And you can also mark it complete. In Notion, as you can see, it's kind of different. You know? It's really great for a team that you can work with. And they can access it. But the one advantage I personally see, they are just different. I can't really say that one is better comparing to the other. The only advantage I really like in Notion is that you can actually add tables and everything directly in your task. And that's for me is huge. Now, this is how we can add tasks in both Asana and Notion. But what about the custom fields? In Asana, you can simply go add a field and you don't have many options. You can add a dropdown, text, number, percentage, currency, choose from library. And Asana is really great if you want to actually use it for, for simple project management. For that, Asana is amazing. Let's say that I want to create a YouTube channel and I, can, I want to add make YouTube videos. This is really great because I don't need financing. I don't need anything. But look at this. In Notion, you can click plus here. And you have multiple options for property types, URL, checks box, number, also files and media. Really play around it. And also you get advanced formula, relation, roll up, create time created by last editor. So I can add a formula. Now I can simply add tags, name, property and operators. Just add a subtract. Like I also see how much money I made. So for example, when I go to my... I will show you that right now I'm making like how much money I'm making. So, okay, I see that I got income 6,536 euro. And then I have like expenses here. And if I would add 100 euro, it's going to automatically calculate me my expenses. But yet I still didn't add everything here. Like what are my expenses and things like that. So it will be an, after 15 of this month. Because I can see this is like the, the calculation, broad calculation. So when you are in your team, tasks and are okay-ish, but custom fields, Notion is completely dominating Asana. You can use Asana, it's simple, okay, but in Notion you can do much more comparing to Asana. So this is the first thing. And the second thing I want to talk to you about is custom fields and also then pages like what you can actually add on your page and how you can work with database and views in asana when you would come here you can add board timeline this is like kanban board then you have a timeline here calendar dashboard messages and forms but look at notion in notion what i really like is that you can go with a slash you can add a heading and everything and you have two options so you can add as a full page board this is a full page Kanban board that you would have in Notion, right? And then in this part, you can't add anything else. So you can add a new and you can play around it, but you can't add anything else. But if you're going to create a new page, you can go slash and you can add, let's say, table. Then you can add list here of things and again I can add I don't know calendar right so and you can really move it as much as you want and this is what I really like about this so on one page you can have literally everything and in that way I really think that notion is winning but when we are going to compare what you can actually do with it they got similar 
the databases with gallery, list, calendar, timeline, table. Yes, you then have both got the calendar dashboard. You don't have messages here that you can have. Okay, in that way it's losing. But other than that, I really believe that Notion is winning also in this department. But again, it's more complex. So in this way, um, it's okay-ish. Both got integrations, both got integrations that you can use for also Notion and Asana. You click here, Asana apps and also Notion. Then you can use Zapier and also Automate idea. But Asana got what I think is more implementation. Uh, Notion still didn't show the API that you can edit it right now. But yeah, they are both great. And now the last thing I want to compare Google Play Asana and also Notion. They are both great. When you want to use it for your mobile, you're not going to make a mistake if you're going to choose Asana or if you're going to choose Notion. I really believe in that. But what is my actual recommendation? This is the question, right? If you want simple project management, I would go with Asana, but also with Notion. You can make Notion simple. It, I'm using Notion. Um, Asana, I don't use it, but even when I would gonna have project management in my employee, I'm going to probably use Notion because I can do everything here and I can make it as complex as I want. And the more I use Notion, the more I fell in love with it for some reason. So I would just invite for every single day and what he needs to be done. So how would I use it for project management? Let me show you. I would add a page. I would add a table here. Now what I would do, I would just rename this what needs to be done. I would name this as a Monday. YouTube video this. Now I would click plus here and you can add select or I can add a text or checkbox, right? Like this. So, and now he just press comment, okay, and he would just insert a link here. Simple as that, right? Or I would do this, I would go plus here and I would add board. What needs to be done, not started, in progress, complete. Really simple, really easy. In Asana is also similar, but still Notion is cheaper. You can, when you would click on it, you can make comments and everything. So with the templates and with everything, I would go definitely with the Notion. I don't know if I would even choose Asana. Like it's more simpler, okay, but you can make Notion simple too. And it's cheaper, better templates. Um, what I heard is that clients like more Notion comparing to Asana. And for project management, I'm going to use it too. So thank you very much everybody for watching. If you have any questions, guys, ask me down in comments. And have a great day and goodbye. See